Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am in Chiang Mai, Thailand. This is the city in the northern part of Thailand. I'm visiting this city as part of my trip to my home country and I wanted to show you around, show you some of the sights and sound of this city that I've been just a few times in my life. So I'm still exploring and finding some new places. And this is actually a shorter trip that I'm taking of just two days. And uh, But there's some great places that you can check out in just a few days to spend here in Chiang Mai. So if this is on your itinerary for your next trip to Thailand, you may want to check it out and get some ideas on where to go. So to get to Chiang Mai, the, probably the easiest way is to fly out of Bangkok and the flight is pretty quick. It's about an hour and 15 minutes and then you land right there at Chiang Mai International Airport in the middle of town. And we chose in this trip to stay at a bed and breakfast instead of a resort hotel. And it's really cute. It's only about six to eight rooms and they have a tea house on the first floor and then you go up to your rooms and it's just decorated really quaint with all the um, souvenirs from London and the UK that the owner uh, has collected over the years. And this is just a look at the room. And it's located in a, a residential neighborhood but it's also really close to some really cool bars and restaurants and shops. Um, it's called the Niman Heyman area, uh, Niman Heyman Road actually, and this is called Wan Niman, which is a shopping center plus food court. So you can find all kinds of fresh fruits and, and veggies, also uh, traditional Northern Thai cuisine at this center right here. So it's really close to our um, bed and breakfast as well. And here I am in the one of the most popular ways to get around, which is called the Song Tao, which is like, it means two benches. So that's the, um, the two back rows of vehicles. You just kind of hail them as like a cab and you can go anywhere you want. And our first stop will be a popular market in town, in town called Wat Ro Ro. So I'll take you inside. This is one of the most famous markets here in this city. A lot of tourists come here, a lot of locals come here. You can find everything here from food to clothing to household wares. And this is the look inside. I just love all these food items that I probably can't get uh, very easily outside of Thailand. So a good place to grab that. If I ever need traditional Thai attire, I can get them there as well. But I love this because it really gives a sense of um, what people, where people go, especially they live in Chiang Mai, not just tourists, and what they eat and um, uh, you know, buy on a regular basis. And here we are back in the area where we're staying and just want to show you this mall. It's a big giant mall in the middle of town. If you're a shopper, you want to go to a mall, uh, this is the Maya Mall. They have a cool rooftop bar there too at the top of that mall. So a uh, good place to hang out at night. Also the Chiang Mai Night Bazaar. You've got to go there if you're in Chiang Mai. you got to go to the night markets and they have several of them and this is where you can get, you know, get entertainment. There are bands there and entertainment and also uh, lots of great food um, you can where you can sit and eat and just take in the atmosphere and you can find all kinds of delicacy including these um, scorpions and crickets and all sorts of good protein and of course end the night with some rolled up ice cream and they're great there it's really delicious um, and the next day we decided to take a tour of all the temples and Chiang Mai is really known for beautiful temples and they're everywhere and this is a popular one if you've ever been to Chiang Mai you've probably been here it's called Doi Sip Tape and you take about 300 flights of um, 300 sets up to the top and you can get amazing view of Chiang Mai up here so that's a great place for pictures but there's also a 600 year old pagoda up there as well and you can take in um, all the Buddha statues and the artwork um, that are on the side of the temple so it's a beautiful spot also another um, temple that may not be as well known is called Wat Pa Lab, and this is right near Doi Su Tape. Um, so if you ask people around there uh, about this temple, they'll be able to tell you. But it's kind of nestled in the forest and it's just a really cool vibe. I really like it. It's really peaceful just being just next to some waterfalls and just super green. And um, yeah, it's really different. And I love the artwork here. You can see on the main doors of uh, one of the temples up there. So, and look out for peacocks. It's also home to three cool peacocks. And I would have known, I wouldn't have known if uh, the, the guide did not tell me. 
All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy that little tour of Chiang Mai. And if you want to come explore, you've been there before, let me know in the comments below some of the favorite places that you've been to here in Chiang Mai or in Northern Thailand in general. And if you have any tips for people who want to make their trip here to Chiang Mai, please leave a comment. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. That will really help me. And thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.